Am I the asshole? For not paying the full amount for a family style dinner where I only ate bread? My wife and I are both vegan, but we don't make a big deal out of it. We don't judge others for their choices and we don't expect them to accommodate us. We usually just find something we can eat wherever we go, or eat beforehand if we know the options are limited. One of my friends invited us to his birthday dinner at a restaurant in Brooklyn. He said it was a last minute thing and he didn't have time to make reservations, so we just had to show up and hope for the best. We checked the menu online and saw that there were not many vegan options, except for chips and guacamole, hummus, and bread. We decided to eat a snack at home and then order drinks and appetizers at the restaurant. We also have been tight with money lately because of some medical expenses, so we didn't want to spend too much on food we couldn't eat anyway. When we got to the restaurant, we found out that they were doing it all family style and splitting the bill evenly among everyone. There were about 15 people in our group, and they ordered a lot of food, most of which was meat or cheese based. The only thing we could eat was the bread, so we just had a couple of slices each and two beers each. At the end of the night, my friend sent me a Venmo request for $120 for our share of the dinner. I was shocked by the amount, since our four drinks were only $32 plus tip, so about $40. I texted him back and explained that we didn't know it was going to be family style, and that we only had the beers and some bread. I said I would send him $60 to cover our drinks and a bit extra for the bread. He got angry and said that we should have told him we were vegan, and that it was rude to not participate in the family style dinner. He said that everyone else paid their fair share, and that we were being cheap and selfish. He said that he expected us to pay the full amount. The decision to make it a family style meal was done last second too because the restaurant had no idea a party of 15 was showing up. Otherwise we could have split the bill per party and been fine. I don't think we did anything wrong. We didn't ask for any special treatment, and we didn't complain about the food. We just ate what we could and tried to have a good time. We also didn't want to make a scene or cause any drama by announcing our dietary preferences. We thought $60 was more than enough for what we consumed, and we didn't want to pay for food we couldn't eat. Am I the asshole? No chance I would be paying $120 for bread and beer. Not the asshole I bloody hate that way of splitting bills. Why didn't you explain your dietary restrictions and just order some hummus and guacamole for yourselves? Communication is the key. Obviously with everything including this. If we go out with friends it's always separate checks, this way this does not happen. You're the asshole because of this. When we got to the restaurant, we found out that they were doing it all family style and splitting the bill evenly among everyone. You knew it would be a problem from the start. You should have mentioned something right then and there. Info did you find out it was family style when you got to the restaurant, or when you'd eaten? I dunno, I kind of feel like you're the asshole. Presumably they ordered a lot because they thought you were eating with them. Hey, guys, wife and I are vegan so we're going to opt out of the family style meal and just order some chips and guacamole for ourselves. Menu looks good. Enjoy. Would that have really been so difficult? Bringing it up afterwards feels a bit Irish to me. ESH. 1. When someone the host party originator decides to order family style with lots of sharing, they should ask the group any allergies or food restrictions. And then order a variety of items. 2. As an adult, you just gotta make a verbal announcement to all at the table oh my, we are vegan so can't eat these dishes. We will go ahead and order our own dishes and drinks on a separate dab. Don't worry about us please enjoy. How does your friend not know you're vegan? You're the asshole a little communication goes a long way. You're the asshole because you knew before anything was ordered that the bill was being split evenly but waited until after it was paid to tell the host you didn't want to take part. If you can't participate in the family style meal and don't want to pay for it speak up before they order food for 15 people. 
you're the arsehole for not saying something before food was ordered. When they said it was family style, you should have spoke up then, not when the bill came. Everyone else paid their fair share. For you to pay your fair share means paying the $40 worth of food and drinks that you ordered, plus an extra happy birthday $20. Not the asshole. Speak now or forever hold your peace. You're the asshole so long as you knew the rules before you started consuming and said nothing. You're the asshole. You did not communicate with your friend about being vegan or about splitting the bill. This is going to be unpopular but you're the asshole. For a few reasons 1. That's just how bill splitting works as adults, everyone pays it evenly, if you can't or don't want to participate leads me to reason 2. You learned upon arrival it was going to split evenly, you also knew going in you weren't going to be getting anything other than drinks and maybe a nap. You should have communicated this to your friend up front and decide a compromise from there. By not doing so you agreed to pay the same as everyone else. Just to be clear when you say family style here in the US that usually means that the restaurant charges a set amount per person and brings large amounts of food to the table to share. Is this what happened or are you saying that it was just decided that everyone at the table would split the bill evenly? You're the asshole. So you sit there hearing these idiot friends are doing things family style and you suddenly are incapable of speech. Try communicating next time instead of sitting there like a lump. You're the asshole. You knew you didn't get a separate check at the restaurant so you should have assumed they were going to divide the check equally. How else would you do it after the fact? I don't think you were wrong for not wanting to pay for the food you didn't eat but you should have asked for a separate check for the drinks at the time. With 15 people, the host probably didn't notice that you didn't eat more than bread. Now he will either have to eat your portion or go back and ask the others for more money. That isn't fair to him, either. ESH. Your friend is definitely a jerk but you're also at fault for saying literally nothing about it to anyone. You should have stated that you guys would only have some drinks and bread. You can't blame anyone for being taken aback when there was zero communication from you too. But your friend is still a bigger asshole for his behavior. Nata trust me I hate that like let me pay for what my family ordered, we always get water and small dishes when out with family while they get wine, multiple dishes and desserts. And then we are stuck with a 200 bill. If he is your friend how come he doesn't know you and your wife are vegan? Send him $40 and then block him. He can stay bent. At this point it's not about the money. He is called you cheap and demanded that you pay three times the amount that you owe. How does a friend not know you are vegan? That doesn't make sense to me. Not the asshole and to hell with your friend. Not the asshole. I don't pay for what I don't eat. The time to address this was when ordering and with the waiter. Your friend was probably stuck paying your per person price plus your drinks because you're too entitled to handle it properly. Not the asshole. You being vegan, raw foods, fruitarian made no difference to the amount of food they ordered.